Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading? Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, she did say she was from Vault 111. And she's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? Anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods. But something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Dang spots. That was them. There they are. Singing. I know Why do you keep yourselves so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. Now, I have work to do. Most everyone here is very friendly with Commonwealth visitors. Although that power armor may make a few people nervous. Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If she's lived this long, I'm sure she's chosen her friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. So, um, this radio station, we, we don't really make any caps. And, uh, there are, uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like, uh, like this. A portion of this broadcast has been brought to you by the Mega Surgery Center. No signs of radiation. Now featuring Press facial it. reconstructive surgery. Oh, that's nice. Why settle for less than perfection? Hey, see Maria at the cafeteria. 
Five stars are up next, singing about... You should stop by and see Horatio uh, while you're here. Like Can't imagine you come across many divers in the Calvin's parking lot. Calvin's always looking for tools. Well, that, I heard they would pay cats if you got them. Here's the five stars. Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Excuse me, officer. Katie Pinn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. Heads up. Look alive. Look alive. Hey, lady. Lady? Hey, lady. Where are you going? Seeds. I need more seeds. She's looking pretty bad in there. Mm, you whipping up a new batch of pies If you need today, a doctor, I Forsyth and Rachel are down at the medical center. And I know they can patch you. The little ones. Marcus Williams said. Oh, nice pip boy. You go on if it ever starts so acting up on you, see Alexis. Are going to be for She'll fix it right up. Crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey, you try telling that to Erin and breaking a little girl's heart. I didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded. I Hi. swear. Another new face in the world, eh? You need to kind what of is it we're needing now, Lassie? Come again? What do you mean? Well, Gwenny... Oops. I mean the Overseer never lets anyone in unless we need something. I figured someone put in a request with her if we got a new face in the vault. Lord knows we could use some help around. I'm just visiting. I'm from Vault 111. I'll be damned. All my years and never, I mean never, have I met anyone from another vault. Maybe seeing a vault dweller from the outside will pick up the spirits around here. The people here, they're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the Overseer, but it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. What's going on? Why are people so overworked? Well, you live in the same place for 200 years. Time just takes its toll. Until the Overseer opened the vault to the traitors, we were just slapping on one band-aid after the next. Now we're just scrambling to keep old 81 together. I'm sure she's doing her best. I know she is. She's a smart gal. And maintaining this bucket of bolts ain't easy. Well, I best be getting back to it. Don't want the old lady on me again. 62 years old and still fiery as ever. You must be that new traveler Gwen Letty. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. But I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Let's see what you got. Selection isn't what it used to be, but I still things. You're that Commonwealth travel, aren't you? Hey. It must be rough living out there. Dr. 
Dr. Forsyth is asking to see you. Can you have a moment? Mark. I gotta say, being married to the best baker yeah. in 81. She's a whiz with just about anything. <sighs> Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Hi. Hi, how are you? Poor Erin. Her cat got loose in the Commonwealth. Hey there. I heard we had a trainer in today. But work never ends in Vault 81. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. Huh? What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Jesus, Bobby, can you not do that here? What if the Overseer or Whitaker caught you? Come on, Slack, Tina. I've been working 12 hours straight. You've been working. I bet bossing around old Rusty really takes it out of you. You've no idea. Hey, you both just get lost. You're killing my buzz here. With pleasure, hey. sir. Hey, outsider, do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. You want to leave the vault? More than you know. There's got to be more to life than this vault. But if I leave, it's on my own terms. Not because Bobby screwed it up. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy, I feel better, done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Where am I? Generator room, can't you tell? Look, I I'm not even sure if you're allowed in here. Most of the trading's done in the atrium. I can tell you how to get back if you want. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Hey, Bobby. Sick of working. Is this day almost over? An incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Pardon me, officer. Watch yourself. <laughs> 